Subscribe to Motoroids for the most in-depth and detailed car and bike reviews. Hit that bell icon and you will be notified before everyone else. Hello guys, welcome to Motoroids. As you must have already seen in our previous video, we have explained every detail about the new Aether electric scooter. In this video, we are going to show you what makes this scooter a smart scooter. So, as you can see, this one features a 7-inch touchscreen display which gives you a plethora of information about the scooter. What's also interesting is Aether offers a mobile phone app, a smartphone app which runs on Android and iOS which gives you all the information that you need to know about your scooter. For example, as you can see, the range that your scooter has is displayed on your smartphone screen along with the battery percentage. Other features that the app offers is push navigation so you can find a location on your smartphone as you can see that's happening we're going to search for IBC Knowledge Park click on that it shows you the route and as soon as you click on the button over here send to my 450 it sends the input to the scooter and all you have to do is flick the switch to the right to accept the location and the navigation starts now to enter the navigation mode all you have to do is press this button over here and you get turn by turn directions what else can you do by the app suppose if you are stuck somewhere uh, ran out of juice or some other technical issue all you have to do is click on roadside assistance and initiate call and it will call the roadside assistance service that's provided by Aether now other features of the app include the service book and the vehicle manual you can click on service book and it will show you all the service record that the scooter has gone through it also shows you the upcoming services that are lined up for your scooter you also get the vehicle manual built into the app so you don't have to carry a physical copy of it the alert tab inside the app basically keeps a tab of all the notifications that you might require to know for example it would alert you uh, if your scooter has low battery or uh, if uh, there's some technical problem with the engine everything will be available inside the alert tab next is your general profile which is basically your name the uh, odometer reading the chassis number and apart from that you can manage the incognito mode in incognito mode basically what it does is it stops anyone from tracking your scooter at any given point of time so if you want to go off the grid all you have to do is engage the incognito mode another tab is manage documents where you can store all your registration papers your driving license your insurance uh, you can also set or change the password so it's only you who can access all these features on your scooter through the mobile app the app also lets you monitor the charging range that is happening without being next to the scooter so you can uh, run your daily errands till your scooter is being charged and check for the battery percentage through the app so let me just run you through all the features that this uh, 7 inch touchscreen display offers that's your welcome message the home screen basically comprises of your odometer your trip time and kilometers and your average speed at the center is your speedometer on the right is the uh, range available and below the range is the eco button now eco button lets you travel for more kilometers as you can see as soon as i engaged into uh, eco mode which cuts down the power marginally but improves the range it turned into 63 kilometers turn off the eco mode and you're back to 47 kilometers on right hand top is the navigation option you click on this and the navigation on the screen turns up it Basically, uh, the speed is now displayed on the left hand corner along with the battery level. At the center is your destination and on the right hand side is the kilometers left and the time that it will take for you to travel to the destination. To go back to the home screen, all you have to do is press on the left hand corner. Now left top is the menu button which lets you toggle various functions, various settings on the uh, scooter. For example, in settings, the very first option is the screen brightness which you can adjust as per your requirement after the screen brightness is the sounds option which can be used to get notifications about uh, specific uh, functions of the scooter right now the navigation's uh, sound is on while the notifications are off the more options include OTA updates uh, which would be available as soon as Aether releases a new update and the incognito mode if you don't want anyone to track your current location all you have to do is click on the incognito mode and I understand to go incognito for 24 hours the errors tab basically keeps a tab of uh, any error that the scooter might suffer well the documents 
is all the list of documents like your registration papers, your driving license or your insurance papers that you might require to show to the authorities. The last feature on this is the park assist. For that, you have to turn on the motor. As you can see, the motor is on. And either slide park assist on the screen or use a combination of brake, press the turn indicator button to center and press the ignition key. Now the park assist feature lets you to roll the motorcycle behind or forward with the use of throttle, thus making it easy to park your vehicle in parking. Right now it's engaged in reverse and all I have to do is give a throttle input and it will start going behind. It can back at a speed of up to 3 kilometers while it can go forward by up to 5 kilometers. To toggle between forward and reverse, all you have to do is press the ignition button. Now it's in forward mode and all I have to do is give it some throttle and it start moving forward. Simple as that. So that was our quick take on the smart screen on the Aether. We hope you liked the video. If you did, do hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notification as soon as we upload a new video. Till next time, this is Suvil Suswirkar signing off.